Hi, Fanny. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Mom's coming over for breakfast today, mm -hmm. so do you have everything in the oven ready to go? OK. Oh, looks good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. As a child, I was very privileged. My father and his brother were self-made millionaires. And in Dallas, the Simmons name is a very important name. You'll see it on a lot of buildings. You'll see it at the medical center. You'll see it at SMU. So you know what? We probably should get out the china. I don't want to get in trouble because she doesn't like my everyday plates very much. Growing up, I was just full of rotten, my mom would say. I had something like 275 dresses at five years old and 75 pairs of shoes. I don't think I've gotten out of that phase. <laughs> Morning. Hey. How are you? Good. I'm just trying to get the table set for mom. She's coming over for breakfast. Jeremy and I come from very different backgrounds. Jeremy has two kids from a previous marriage, and I have none. He is retired from the military. He's a photojournalist. My husband is hot. He is handsome in that rugged sort of way that every woman wants and everyone wants to sleep with. What's she coming over for? We're just gonna have breakfast. And you know, she's leaving on that trip. Yeah. And I'm sure she's gonna give me a list of things that I have to do while she's gone. I've always felt intense pressure around my mom. She has 35 pageant crowns. Everywhere we went, people would say, oh, your mother's so fantastic. And it's kind of like, well, what am I, like chopped liver? You want coffee? Yeah, I put the cups on the table already. Oh, I can't use my old no, coffee cup. No, we nice cups today. Really? My home is not a typical Highland Park house. My husband and I call our house the United Nations because we both travel to so many countries and we collect things when we go. Africa, Asia, Europe, and my husband being a photojournalist has been to maybe a few more countries than me, but we argue about that. And of course we have to throw his photographs in there to decorate the walls.